Last Epoch 1.0 has been released for a couple of weeks now, and I wanted to create a video on my impressions on why I believe LE is going to have a lot of replayability in it. And in this video, I'm going to go over some of the points that I think illustrate why the player base is going to continue to play this game. Now, before I get into those, I, I do want to say that clearly the end game in Last Epoch, the monolith system, uh, requires further enhancements. It kind of, they need to put more meat on that bone. Um, so we have been told that that is coming along with pinnacle bosses. So it's with that in mind that I feel players will continue to play this game. And we're going to talk about what I feel are the major attributes to that. I hope you'll join me and stick around. We'll see you on the other side. Okay, so I've been playing Last Epoch religiously since its release. And I have to say, it's been a, it's been a wild run. I started off in softcore and now I'm playing on hardcore and it's it's been a blast. Um, but I think there are several reasons why Last Epoch has replayability and I'm going to talk about it in this video. First of all, the game is fun. Whether it's in the comments of my videos or people coming into my live streams, the constant theme of players that are playing Last Epoch is always fun. They, they're trying all the different classes and they're loving it. So the fun factor in this game is really high. So when a game is fun, of course, players are gonna play it. So to me, the fun factor will contribute to players, uh, you know, playing the game, sorry. Um, and a very close second is just the five classes and the 15 masteries in this game just give the players so much opportunity and potential to play all these different play styles. And when you put that in a game, I think it just lends itself to be able to, for people just to grind the game. Now, a lot of players don't like creating new characters, but for those of us that do, this game gives you so many options. Now, I personally have tried uh, several of the classes and masteries. I've not tried them all. I'm slowly going to get to that. But I've played the Paladin. I've played the Warlock. I've played a little bit of the Druid. Uh, I'm currently playing a Necromancer on Hardcore. And, and obviously... Everyone is is uh, talking about the Wraith Lord build, and I and I'm currently that's what I'm playing in my hardcore run. Now I'm not at the end build, but my point is there are lots of builds to try in Last Epoch, and because of that, this game has so much repeatability. Again, whether it's in the comments of my videos or whether it's people coming into my stream. It's just unbelievable how the constant thread of feedback I get when I ask them, how are you liking it? Again, the main themes are fun and I can't wait to try all the classes. And this game with, like I said, the five classes and the 15 masteries, and, and I think it's over 150 skills. It's just crazy good. So it just gives you um, it just gives you so much flexibility on what kind of play style you want to enjoy. The other good thing about this game and why I think it's going to be very replayable is the fact that the loot in the game is, is um, you know, it matters. It helps you in creating your final build uh, tied in with crafting. That's another thing that this game delivers in spades. The crafting allows you to customize your builds and play style alongside with the loot. Um, so the two go hand in hand. And again, because it's so customizable in this game, 
you can you know players can 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 tailor their character uh to suit their play style or what they're trying to achieve in the build which again adds an element of replayability because you're grinding to get that whatever one piece or one weapon uh that you're looking for or you're simply grinding because you need affixes in order to shatter them, in order to put them on the gear that you're gonna end up using. It's just um, the circle of replayability with the things that I mentioned is so high. And that's why I feel players that really are having fun in this game are gonna play it over and over and over. The combat um, is also good in this game and each class and mastery brings a different flavor to your combat. Again, high repeatability because you're experiencing and you're going through the campaign and the end game with a different play style and it feels different. So again, that whether you're playing a paladin or whether you're playing a warlock or whether you're playing a druid, they bring different elements to the play style, the combat, and hence this will make the replayability um, high. And I have to say, um, when EHG figures out and enhances the monolith system in this game, and they're bringing pinnacle bosses, like uh, I would imagine it's coming in, f in a future cycle. Obviously, we're currently in the first cycle and right now they're more concerned about balancing and taking care of any issues. Right now in the game, there's a big, big issue with players stacking thousands and thousands of ward. And that is presenting some oh, issues and some classes just being way OP and obliter obliterating everything. And obviously this impacts the leaderboards and actually Again, just to show you the style of management when it comes to this game, 11th Hour Games came out and conducted a survey asking the players um, how to deal with this. Now, I'm paraphrasing, but their questions, I did the survey, their questions were around how to manage nerf um, builds during cycle, after cycle, like they were getting... They were asking for our feedback and a feedback on how to deal with it. Again, another unbelievable way of managing their game. When they when Eleventh Hour Games says they want feedback, we use your feedback. It truly is being used. They really value the input from their players and their player base. So uh, this just speaks to the quality of the dev team, and it inherently gets passed down to the game and you can feel it in the game. So you want to play the game. Um, so once they get the monoliths, put more meat there and they add pinnacle bosses and they're going to be adding more and more and more. I heard that they're looking at introducing PVP in the game when it's going to come, who knows, but for you PVP players out there, it's coming um it's just a matter of not if but when um so that's going to be exciting personally i'm not a pvp player <clears throat> excuse me uh but i know there's a lot of players that enjoy pvp in games so that's coming um but my point is i really feel last epoch has a lot of replayability just because of fun Lots of builds to play and classes and masteries. Loot matters. The crafting and the loot tied together enhances the experience. And the combat, depending on which class and mastery you play, changes. So it's a different experience. Um, so all this combined just gives a lot of high replayability. So I wanted to share that with you guys. And <clears throat> I do want to get one thing out of the way before we go here and that is i am not being paid by 11th hour games i'm not their salesman i'm not their spokesperson this is purely me 
Sammy Caps, enjoying a game and wanting it to share with my community. In no way am I being paid by anyone to talk like this or promote Last Epoch. This is simply my joy of the game. <laughs> it's that simple, guys. I'm not being paid to promote uh, Last Epoch. I'm just having a blast. Now, how long that will last? Time will tell. But if they continue to build on this amazing foundation of a game, then I see myself grinding this game all the time. Now, I may go in and out, just like in Path of Exile, where players will play a league, get everything done, go on to another game, and come back when the other new league starts. I may do that in Last Epoch on every cycle. Um, so I'm enjoying this game. I know a lot of people that come into my streams are enjoying it as well. And I just want to share that with the community. I think this is a great game. And for the price point, I think if you have the disposable income and you're looking for a great ARPG, I think this will be money well spent in my eyes. Again, not being paid for saying that. Um, so anyway. Let me know what you think. Did I miss anything on the list? Do you, do you find the game highly replayable or no? The end game is not enough for you yet and you're waiting for them to improve it. Have you tried different classes? What are your thoughts on the five classes and the 15 masteries in Last Epoch? Do you find them all the same? Do you not like the combat? What do you think about the loot and the crafting? I don't know how anyone can complain about the crafting and loot in this game, but hey, that's me. Let me know. I would love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear your comments. And I would really appreciate it if you could like, comment, or subscribe on this video. And by the way, congratulations to all of us. We just surpassed 2,000 subscribers, which uh, I still can't believe. We are only getting started that is a drop in the bucket on where I hope this channel is going to go. And this channel is only going places because of you guys. So thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. Actually, you're the main reason. And for those of you that continue to support my content and have been here for a very long time, thank you, thank you, thank you. It means the world to me. And yeah, I look forward to an exciting 2024. And Last Epoch is hitting it big time for me right now and it sounds like everything that 11th hour games is saying it's only going to get better and we got other games coming in 2024 so it's going to be a wild ride hit the subscribe button so you can join me on that wild journey anyway thanks for watching everybody i do appreciate it and as always we'll see you next time take care the opinions expressed in this video are mine and solely mine Healthy debate is always encouraged. Hate is never welcomed. So get over it.